Hello, this is my review of the Veek 1560 display tablet, which you can see down here. And I think this is a really good bit of kit. So thank you to Gearbest for sending me this. At the moment, this is priced just under 280 pounds, which I think is probably one of the best priced graphics display tablets I've seen yet. I've put the links in the description. They're affiliated links, so that does mean if you click on them, you are supporting me. But as always, this is an honest review, and I can say I'm quite happy with this one. It's not the biggest at 16 inches, but I'm starting to realize that size isn't as important as I thought with these display tablets. And what I really like about it is the fact that I plugged it in, it all worked straight away, the drivers worked perfectly, and it was all ready to go within minutes, which was quite a nice feeling when it comes to these things because they can be a right pain. It's got some other nice features. It's got a holder for the pen and buttons down the side. And a huge plus is that the wires plug in nice and easily at the back of the monitor. The tilt stand is very nice, so you can have it at different heights and you can set it up nice and easily like this. It comes with everything you'd expect, the power supply, which is actually a three pin plug for a change, so I didn't have to get an adapter, USB connection, HDMI connection, and there is a mini HDMI adapter that came with it as well, which I haven't shown here, the pen, a glove, and a screen wipe. I think they've put quite a lot of thought into this. Even the pen comes with a nice case and you've got your spare nibs in there. When you're moving the screen up and down, it's not affecting the wires at the back and not squashing the wires, so it's going to last. Even the nice scroll wheel at the side, which is a great plus, it's got a nice click to it and I found it quite easy to use and I actually prefer it to the Wacom display that I normally use. So generally it feels very comfortable to use. If I were to compare this to something like the Huion and the Yuji that I've also used, I would say this is certainly comparable in the user experience, the pen pressure and everything like that. But the drivers do seem that much better. So the fact that you can just plug it in and you're away, absolutely brilliant. It's also got a driver screen where you can adapt your buttons at the side, you can adapt the pen pressure, and you can map it to the different displays. And it actually worked with my three monitor setup which was surprising. You can find the drivers quite easily. You go onto their driver download site, download the main driver, works. You can probably tell I'm quite excited about that bit. It's a major issue when you have to fiddle around going backwards compatible with drivers and all sorts. It really does annoy me. I suppose they're quite bespoke bits of kit display tablets, so Windows might not care about them as much. I don't know. Now the downsides. Now is this the Wacom killer? No, it isn't. There are downsides. The parallax is a big issue still. It's fine when you're in the middle of the screen and you're drawing and painting, so in a sense it's not the biggest issue, but when you go to the edges to click on those icons, you notice that your cursor isn't quite where you're trying to point. And double clicking can also be awkward when you're trying to open up programs. Not sure why that is. Same for the UG, same for the Hueon, maybe it's me. The other downside, which is the same as the Hueon and the UG, is the screen's shininess and the glare. Again, I don't notice it when I'm looking directly at the screen, and even in this fairly sunny room, it's not really a noticeable problem. So I tried this in Photoshop, Blender, Critter, no problems at all, again, no driver issues, and the straight lines were good, the pressure sensitivity was good throughout. I'm very impressed with this bit of kit. I'm pretty amazed, to be honest. And I have seriously considered leaving it here and not using my Wacom, because my Wacom's a mobile studio pro, and I have to sort of get it out, plug it in every time I want to use it with this main machine. And I have given it thought as to whether I just leave this one here, and then my Wacom is just a mobile device. And I'm still considering that one, to be honest, because the Wacom display is very nice, the screen is very nice when you're drawing on it, and there isn't very much parallax at all, and that can make a bit of a difference. But is that a £2,000 price difference? It's tricky to say, really. It's got to be said that these are really catching up to Wacom now, and it's getting pretty close. But Wacom is still out there in the lead. It's £2,000 more expensive than this. If I were new to digital art, then I would definitely recommend getting one of these. So that's my review. I'm going to put this one at the forefront of my website for my main choice of display tablet. Do check on there though in case I've updated since this video. Thanks for watching.